Hi you guys, Gary Summix here again. This time on a mountain bike. You know that a lot of guys are training on mountain bikes and road cycles uh, for motocross as well as riding. I've been doing that and um, I have a pretty cool trail in the woods I'll show you. But also I want to show you these jumps I made right here and how that relates to um, you guys that are beginners trying to learn how to jump in motocross. And I can really sympathize <laughs> sympathize with you when because I'm trying to learn to jump a, a bicycle it's completely a whole new world completely different and I discovered that while riding you know I found some little jumps on my track and I realized when I got the bicycle like a foot or two off the ground I just had no control I didn't know what it was going to do so I thought wow so it's pretty scary so I wanted to be able to jump at least a little bit so I built three little jumps out here on a downhill for the mountain bike and they're little so don't laugh at me if you guys are experienced mountain bike jumpers or bicycle jumpers but it's really made me realize that uh, you guys that are beginning to learn how to jump a motorcycle wow it must be stuff that we take for granted that we've been riding so long but I'm using the same strategies as learning to jump a bicycle as I teach new people to learn how to jump a motorcycle and even people that are more advanced in jumping a motorcycle how they can jump it better and scrub, whip, absorb, you know get more height, launch it, all those techniques but the key is just like me on this bicycle you got to start out real small in little baby steps so that's what I'm doing out here practicing in little baby steps and just repeating that and that's what you need to do on a motorcycle whether you're just learning to jump or if you want to learn a more advanced jump maneuver like scrubbing or whipping it's starting out in baby steps and repeating that process through repetition so you can reprogram your nervous system to do that automatically okay. that's what it's all about so it's a fun way to exercise too because I got a little loop here as you can see me going around it and um, I have to pump back up the hill and I've done 30 minute workouts on it and it's a good workout and I'm getting to practice my jumping at the same time so use that strategy when you want to learn new techniques that's the way to get them down and be able to do them and have fun doing it 